Hello everyone and welcome to another very exciting tutorial today we're gonna be building this amazing animation basically everything in CSS no JavaScript and no SVG nothing other than our own CSS first and foremost you can use this for for example any kind of animation or you can use it as like the loading bar or whatever else you can think of so let's get started so Again, codity.io, HTML tab. I'm going to create a container as always. And then within that container, let's put three divs. Let's just put, uh, call them circles, right? So circle, circle, circle. Going back to the container. What I'm going to do is that I, as always, going to try to, set, let's just give it a, you know, width and height and then position absolute. I'm, I'm trying to center it in the page. So top 50%, left 50%. And then transform translate minus 50% and minus 50%, right? Uh, so, and then we have our circle, right? I'm just going to go back ahead and find the color of this circle just to be sort of on the same page. So, going here, I'm just going to say circle, forgot to see here, and then background, I'm going to give it this color, maybe a width of um, 200 pixels and height of 200 pixels we have it there and then we say border radius of 50 percent looks good and then position obviously absolute so that we can freely move it um, and then what we can do is uh, for the second because we have three circles for the second circle which is NS child 2 I'm gonna say width maybe change it to 100 pixel height to 100 pixel uh, you can see that it kind of pops up over here maybe top let's put because it's 100 pixel the bigger one is 200 pixel maybe go top 100 pixel and maybe left uh, minus 20 pixel Maybe this is a bit small, so make maybe make it 150, and then here instead of 100, we have 50. And then obviously going back a lot, it's gonna take a look. look looks, it, it's gonna look like this. And then for the other one, I'm just gonna copy and paste this one, and then this this one is the third one. Maybe a little bit smaller, maybe 100, 100, and then obviously because the bigger one is 200, I need to make it 100 and instead of minus let's go for something like left 140 uh, maybe even 50 it seems to be a bit small so I'm just gonna make it maybe you know 130 and then this one will be 70 because the bigger one is 200 kind of looks nice uh, the last part is to kind of make sure that we have a good sort of cover over here what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna another you know div here I'll call it bar I have to style it separately so I'm just gonna say let's call it base actually because this is kind of like a base I'm changing the class name to base and then here uh, it's a bit of a you know try and concur we want to see how we can fix this so I'm just gonna say width of 100 pixel height of maybe 20 pixel I'm gonna use the same background it needs to be the same background so you see okay it popped up over here set the position to absolute so that I can move it down I'm just gonna say bottom I know that the bigger circle is 200 and this one is height 20 so I just need to move it 180 pixel uh, actually not bottom but top so now you can see that we kind of fixed this one, but it's a little bit small. So maybe 160, a little bit more, maybe 200. Yeah, a little bit more because we have still a little bit here. So maybe 10, yes. Also, you can see that it kind of has this. We have to change the height a little bit. So maybe 30 pixel. And also we have to modify the top to be 170. So now you can see that we pretty much have our uh, sort of 
uh, what do you call it, the cloud over here, you can always use the transform to make the cloud smaller. So if I can come here on the container and use transform maybe scale 0 0.5, you'll see that it actually gets smaller. And now for the actual animation that we have over here, what we can do really is trying to put a bar because these elements are four elements completely irrelevant to each other. So what we should do is make sure we have a bar inside, you have like a, you know, element inside of this that uniformly transforms, that it gives us uh, the illusion that it's one, you know, surface that is kind of filling up. But this is actually three, you know. So in order to do that, I need to put a, put a div here. I'm just going to give it a class bar for each of these. So in each of the circles, inside each of the circles, and also our base, right? Uh, and now what I'm what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to give it the width and height. So I'm just going to say bar. The width should be the same width that we want, like 400 pixel maybe, to kind of cover the whole area of our cloud. Uh, I'm going to just, just going to put 400 for now. And the height, obviously, we already know the height. It is 200 pixel because our bigger circle is 200 pixel, right? Let's give it a background color of maybe red for now. Just going to see how it looks like. Okay. Now, what I need to do is maybe, uh, let's see. Just going to say position absolute. So now, and then also I would say bottom zero. Right. So now. This, this is actually covering our whole area. If I set the opacity to maybe 0 0.3, you'll see that it actually is covering our area, right? This doesn't need to be 400 pixel, 200 is enough. Now I'm just gonna remove this. And if I set the, on the container, if I set the overflow to hidden, you'll see that we kind of get nothing, right? Now why? Because this shouldn't be actually overflow hidden each of the elements that we had should be, should have overflow hidden and that consists of all the circles that we have so this is the first one you'll see that it looks like okay it's working the second one well we actually if I, if we move the move it on the circle it will put it on all of them and then also we have a base that we have to set now this looks pretty good so the base is also here but you can see we have a little bit of a space down here which is not unfortunately fixed because the base actually has a little bit more width of this one that we set here so i'm just going to put 120 and 110 and now we have this so now what we really have is one circle two circle three circle and a bar each of those have overflow hidden and within each of those we have this kind of element called base right now what I need to do is create an animation. I'm just going to remove the overflows for a, for a moment. Uh, so let's remove the overflow hidden so we can actually see that. All right, we see it over here, right? For the for the circle itself, this one. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to say, let's just move this base or actually bar. Let's say um, transform, translate, and then translate y because i want on the y axis and then 200 pixel right now you actually can see that it came down over here now the only thing we need to do is to animate it to go up right so to do that i'm just going to say keyframes and then within the keyframes i'm just going to call it uh, loading and then i'll say two and then i want this to translate y to actually zero the initial position that it had now if i choose this loading and then come in each of these elements first and foremost circle i'm just going to say animation uh, loading and then maybe three seconds um so i'm just gonna come here enable the update so that i can actually run it 
so actually the problem is that this shouldn't be on the circle it should be on the bar because that's what we're trying to animate right and now you will hopefully see that when i press run it actually fills up to the maximum degree right it looks pretty niche right so now what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna say um overflow hidden again on the circles and also i'm just going to set the overflow hidden on the base which is already there so now if i run it you'll see that it actually seems like it fi it's filling up the uh, cloud i can go ahead in my bars animation and say infinite and then you'll see that if i run it you'll see that it kind of starts filling it over and over again again in the we have this element the background to be just going to change it to gray and also the base to gray as well and then i'm going to change the bar color to be this right so now if i run it you'll see that we have this gray bar the gray sort of cloud that gets filled up and just to cover again just to go through it again we created a container and then four elements three circles that we manipulated the width and the height and the position of them to kind of create uh, the shape of our cloud and also a base that covers because it's circle to cover the bottom of it and within each of those we, we put a bar right and then what we did we really animated that bar make make made sure that the bar has the full width and height to cover the whole cloud and then created an animation to kind of have this bar this sort of bar element that we have from the bottom to to top and it creates this animation i hope you enjoyed this tutorial let me know if you have any questions and i uh, subscribe to, to the channel if you haven't already that's very important for me and uh, i wish you have a great day and night see you next time